was always the one who was very even keel, not phased, and not in that I don't care way, in a focused way. She did the work. There was nothing given to her. I mean, and it was hard. She was one to not let anyone tell her who she was. All Americans would go forward together. Now I'd like to show you Macintosh in person. My name is Jill Lewis, and I went to college with Kamala Harris. It was a very interesting time when we were in college at Howard in the 80s. The first African-American woman became Miss America, and it was an event because it was groundbreaking. It was something that we had never seen before. The Cosby Show came on during that time, and the opportunity to see educated professionals in a functional family was a new phenomenon on television. To be coming of age in a time where you could see that possibilities were opening up. The horizons were broadening for women, for people of color. That, I think, was very important. Do not listen when they say it can't be done. Howard taught me, and it has taught you. You can do anything, and you can do everything. My name is Dr. Shelley Young Tompkins, and I had the pleasure of uh, befriending Kamala my freshman year at Howard University. On campus, um, she was known for being a woman about business. She and I would be mistaken uh, for you know, professors, because we would have briefcases, you know. A lot of colleges, people may wear jeans or sweatshirts. Howard was a school where people actually dressed up to go to class. Our generation felt like if we didn't start right now, you know, that would be problematic for us. So I think we took ourselves fairly seriously. My name is Lita Rosario, and I recruited Kamala Harris for the Howard University debate team. A lot of times when uh, males and females are in, you know, debates or spirited conversations, the men kind of, you know, use their physical ness to kind of make their point. And I saw that Kamala, that she didn't back down when they did that, that she proceeded to make her point. And uh, it's funny because when I look at her on television today, I still see that character in her. There was a little girl in California who was part of the second class to integrate her public schools. And she was bused to school every day. And that little girl was me. Every school day of the year in Berkeley, the buses move almost 3,500 children across town. My name is Carol, and I lived around the corner from Kamala. Kamala and I were bused together from 1971 to 1973 to Thousand Oaks School. We met each other every morning at the, at the corner of Bancroft and Browning in West Berkeley and stood in line to get on the bus. Berkeley began the busing program because they thought that they should integrate their schools and because the neighborhoods were so divided. To be able to be bused and go into this other environment, it transports you into a whole another little, you know, universe. It just expands your mind. I just remember her being happy. She would talk, uh, sing songs. If the bus driver needed to say something and the kids were talking, Kamala would make sure, you know, people tamp down so that everyone can listen to what the bus driver was saying. I remember her being like sitting in the front of the circle. She was very attentive. She was paying attention. She wasn't talking. You know, some of the kids might be in the back talking. She was listening. She was listening to the story. Had she not been bust, um, you know, her life could have taken a totally different course. I recall her saying that she wouldn't be senator if she hadn't had that opportunity. My name is Stacy Johnson Batiste. Um, I've known Kamala since we were about four and a half years old. The one thing that stands out is she's, she's the friend that listens to you. Kamala's mother is Indian and her father was Jamaican. She was part of a global conversation around race and identity at an early age. 
and I think that she had to learn how to become very secure within herself. She just really grew up in a very multicultural environment, but her mother raised her and Maya as black women, because that's what they were. And it was a very intentful upbringing, and, and, and Kamala really, you know, was proud of it. Shamala, Kamala's mother, who was, um, you know, one of the leading scientists um, in this country, if not uh, across the world, you know, for cancer research. And she really impressed upon Kamala and Maya to be great and be who you want to be and you define yourself and you define who you are. Don't you ever listen and let anybody ever tell you what you can or cannot be. I'm so proud of her beyond words. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.